Hi there. I hope everyone is doing great. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly like and subscribe if you are new. And in case you have any ideas or you are stuck somewhere in Power Automate, you can come in detail and I will get back to you as soon as possible. So this is just simple tutorial where I will explain how you can use multiple conditions within filter array. So this is just JSON data, uh, simple. Uh, you can consider it simple array. So this is name, age, uh, email, and is member to or false. So basically, let's say uh, we have, let's say I want to access people uh, whose age is 25, for example. So I am using parse JSON. I am gonna use filter array. Okay, give me a moment uh, to update the uh, this uh, filter array. Okay, so I am using simple filter array. Uh, I am gonna use like age is equal to, let's say for example, I want to access people with age 25. So I am just gonna use age is equal to 25. If I test this, it will give me the people whose age is 25. Okay, this is uh, only one person uh, with 25 page. But let's say I want to get all people whose age is between 25 and 30. Uh, like let's say their age is greater than or equal to 20 and less than 30. For example, people with age 25 and 28. There are two people here. So what I need to do is basically I can use ages uh, greater than or equal to 20, but I need to use another condition as well. If I use this, this will give me every person whose age is greater than 20. So it can be 30, it can be 40, it can be 50, like anyone above 20, it will give back that value, but I don't want it. I want values uh, like, uh, I want values uh, only between 20 and 29, like whose age is 20 or greater than 20 and less than or equal to 29. So what I'm gonna use is basically, I'm gonna use edit in advanced mode. I copy this, okay? I copy this expression and put it here. This is for greater than 20, and then I am gonna use less than 30, okay? The like until 29. I switch again, so I copy this as well, okay? Uh, I am gonna clean this, okay? So I have now two conditions. Okay, one is greater than or equal to 20 and other is less than 29. So I want to make sure I get values who are within this range. So I'm gonna use add and then and operator. Then within and operator, I can use uh, this condition. Okay. And comma, then I am gonna use this condition. Okay. Uh, after using this condition, I can just copy this back into my Power Automate, paste it here, and if I test it, it will give me two values, one with uh, 25 and other with 20. Okay, this is how you can use multiple conditions. Let's say I want to use, uh, let's say for example, I want person whose age is above 30, uh, but whose name is contains Ali. So I switch back to simple mode. So I am gonna use name contains Ali, switch to advanced mode and copy this until before add, okay? I am gonna copy this in here. Uh, this is my first condition. I am gonna switch back and I want age 
to be greater than 30. And I again switch it, copy this, paste it here. Okay, these are two conditions. I am now I'm gonna combine this. I'm gonna use and I want person whose name contain Ali and I want his age to be greater than 30. Okay, so I combine these two conditions and paste it here. Okay. Uh, I the reason I am modifying it in text editor is basically if I try to modify it here, it makes things up. So I modify condition separately and then put it back once I build up conditions. Okay, so now if I test this, I should get Ali whose age is greater than 30. So Ali with 35. Similarly, let's say I put another Ali here. Uh, let me modify this data. Let's say I put Ali and let me see. Okay, it's greater, so it will ignore 30. It will start from 31. So this is 30, Ali doi. And if I test this, I will still get only one Ali because 30 is not greater than 30 it's basically equal so that's why condition become false for that person so i still only get one only so if i change it to let's say 31 and test it again i should get two only okay one and two similarly let's say i set this to false okay and now i am gonna test uh, i am gonna increase this condition further by adding third condition like i am setting his member is equal to true so i have two ali uh, i have two person whose name contains ali but one of them is true and other is false so i am gonna add it in advanced mode copy this value and put put it here so now it will check three conditions and filter based on that like name should contain ali age should be greater than 30 and it should be member so now instead of two i will get only one value uh, as i modified jason here and set this ali to to pause and if i click here i should get only one ali. This is this is how you can use multiple condition within filter array. In case you have any questions or you don't understand any part, kindly do let me know in comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.